a head-on crash that left several people hospitalized, including an 11-year-old girl. A local woman is facing drunk driving charges in that crash. Four police say her car crossed the center line and then went right into an oncoming car. Iowa News reporter Marilyn Chair joins us now with more. State police are now investigating this crash, which could have ended much differently. Fortunately, everyone is going to make it, including an 11 year old girl. I'm told the front seat passenger says the last thing she remembers seeing is a flash of white. The twisted steel of two vehicles involved in a head on collision Friday night on Post Road near Ashmont Street is a jarring scene. Warwick police are charging a local woman with driving under the influence after her car veered over the center line and crashed head on into another car, seriously injuring two adults and an 11 year old girl identified by family members as Nadia Cosper of Warwick. John Cragen says he was on the phone with his girlfriend, Julie Gelfusco, when suddenly the phone went dead. I was trying to call her back, nothing, not knowing that this took place right down the street, less than a mile from my home. Police say 48-year-old Jeanette Lawrence of Warwick is charged with DUI and refusal to submit to a chemical test. Her BAC, blood alcohol content, is unknown. There's going to be a lot of hate, hostility, anger, um, due to the fact that this did hurt three people um, severely. The accident happened at 10.45 p.m. near Ward's public house, where Lawrence reportedly worked. The manager had no comment. Police say Lawrence was driving north on Post Road when she struck a southbound vehicle driven by 29-year-old Jessica Harris. Her daughter, Cosper, who was not wearing a seatbelt, was thrown into the front seat and suffered the most serious injuries. Jell Fusco was a front seat passenger. Both drivers and the passengers were trapped and had to be freed before being taken to the hospital. Cut back. If you can't find someone, get a cab because this is a result and you think about consequences. Cragen says his girlfriend, her daughter and her granddaughter are looking at a very long recovery. Now the young girl is in critical condition at Hasbro Hospital. The other two are at Rhode Island Hospital in fair condition. Jeanette Lawrence, the driver, she is in stable condition at Rhode Island Hospital and police say she could be facing more charges. Reporting with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.